Hi everyone, in this project we will see how this fork join pool helps us in, in doing parallel work and how multiple threads are being used and how they are being pulled out from this fork join. It's basically a pool of threads and things will come out to be in a short span of time using the fork join pool. To show that I will just create a list which I've created just right now of integer and try to add few numbers like for int i equals 100 or let 0 i less than 100 i plus plus so basically i'm just adding 100 numbers and try to add list dot add and i will simply add this i so i'm adding 100 numbers and try to print this result and try to see how the threads are coming out in this parallel stream and sequential stream so for printing that data i will just count the time in milliseconds and see the difference when we are using fork join pool and when we are not using fork join pool. So for that I will take the measurement of initial time. I will measure in long t equals system dot current milliseconds and I will name it as current time or initial time and final time will also be printed after executing certain tasks. So I will name it as final time so initial time and final time are there and they are being used to measure the time difference when we are using normal methods and when we are using fog joint pool so in between i am going to write certain data or let me print a CISO only and then i will pass this list to print the data so for that i will use just a stream api and in the stream api for each method data which I am passing here, I will just pass the method data which I am passing here and try to pass this data and in the try catch block and catch because I am going to restrict this thread for a particular time and everyone knows how to restrict the thread for to wait for a particular time using thread.sleep. So third dot sleep we are using and let's wait for 100 milliseconds that is 0.1 second. So I am going to use this method to demonstrate how the initial time and final time difference comes out and how this stream API works in normal stream and parallel stream and how the fork joint pool is being used. So after all the execution I will just print out the time difference. So if I write this out and I will write time taken and after that I will simply print the difference. So final difference, final time minus initial time. Both are the time execution difference which is coming out. So as you can see what we have done so far is we have created a list and I have added the number from 0 to 100 or we can say 100 items I have provided here 0 to 99. And initially I have taken a time and final also I have taken time and using the difference of these two times to demonstrate how our function has worked, how our system is working in, in sequential and parallel data. And we will see how the threads are being created using for join pool. For now on, if I run this execution, run as Java application, so it is still running and total time taken is 11008 almost 11,000 seconds, milliseconds. So if I run this in parallel stream, then after changing it to parallel stream, let's see how the result comes out to be. So as you can see, it comes out to be only 823 seconds. So earlier it was coming out to be 11,000. So you can see the difference which it is creating after changing it to parallel stream. So parallel stream, what it does, it pulls out all the tasks and provides internal threads and internal threads works in parallel for execution of this task and what are the threads which are created they are nothing but initially main thread is created then the fork join pool is created to demonstrate the fork join pool i will just simply write here sys out and i will just print the thread dot current thread that's it so if i run it for not for 100 times let it let's reduce it for 10 times and using stream API, if I will show you in the initial part, 
and if I show the stream API in the initial part, then you can say only main thread is running at present. So it is taking around 1100 11, seconds, roughly 1100 seconds. But if I change it to parallel stream and run it, you can see only 173 seconds, almost around five times it has reduced. Why it has reduced to almost half times? Because initially main thread was there and it internally what it created multiple fork join pool threads created which is coming from the common pool of threads so these are nothing but the worker threads which the fork join pool creates and this is the internal thread pool just like our spring pool so in a string you can have string pool so similarly in the fork join pool we have multiple threads which are in the pool which is created on the basis of cores which we have created now the things to be noted is that we cannot create more than 33,000 internal threads, even though your core is much higher. So for that, if I tell you how we can create our own fork join pool, then I can show you that. Let's create a fork join pool, our internal implementation, which is happening. We will create that at our own end only. I will name it as fork join equals new fork. So we have created fork join pool, but it will ask us that how many threads you want to create. So I can go with the creation of suppose five threads and using this fork join pool, I will go with the submit part. So I will do nothing, but I will try to create a new thread for using this. I will create a thread T1 equals new thread. And in this thread, I will just pass my fork join pool to call as submit. So I'll write this as fork join to fork join dot submit submit and in this i will just pass the list which i pulled out that is list the main list and for each thread i am going to execute certain task so after execution of this task i will pass this to invoke so i will ask this thread to submit our task in our custom created fork join. So what I've done here, we have created this list and created our custom fork join. And instead of using the internal already existing fork join pool, which is there, I'm creating my own fork join pool. And using that fork join pool, I'm calling the submit method to pass all the data in parallel stream of the fork join, which I've created. And for each method I'm using here to execute the sys out of that thread and I am calling the invoke method and after that I will simply start the thread so t1 dot start so what this join will do it will join will hold the thread to complete its task and after the execution only the final time will be calculated and we will get the result so now if I will run this task it will work in the similar way it's just that our own fork join pool has been created and where we have created this, this is the thing where we have created our fork join pool. So in this way, we can go with the creation of our own custom fork join. But one more thing to be taken count of is that we cannot create more than 3200, 6, 32,600 something or 700 something kind of thread in the fork join pool. Suppose if I go with 33,000, it will throw an illegal argument exception. So if I run this, you can say it illegal argument is coming for the fork join pool. But if I go with 32,000, that much can be created. So it will work in the same, same way. So approximately it comes out to be 32,600 something kind of fork join we can create, but that is also too much higher side. So it's better to go with our custom created fork join pool. If only we require higher number of thread pool or worker thread in our system. Otherwise, it is better to go with the self-created thread pool, which, has, which is being provided by JBM. So thank you all. This was about for joint pool, which is used internally as a thread pool. Thank you all for watching the video.